Good. Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Matthew Shack live here in Los Angeles. Um, welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. Just got done seeing the Bulls get it done. Bulls got it done against um, the against the Hawks, and then earlier uh, we saw my Sixers make the you know make it uh, barely by the skin of their teeth with one point um, over the Miami Heat. Um, so I just want to come in, man, you know, even though it's kind of late, um, you know, dead tired, you know, I'm ready to go to bed, but I have to hit you guys up. We got to at least hit you guys up once a day with some kind of content. Um, and I didn't get a chance to talk about this subject, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But, uh, first things first, man, salute to the unfiltered nation and unfiltered fam. Um, you know, the NBA, the NBA right now is fantastic. Everything is really, really exciting right now, man. This is this is the kind of basketball that I enjoy. But also, there's somebody else who is enjoying where he is uh, at this point. And I just wanted to reiterate what was said um, when they caught up with Devontae Adams, um, wide receiver of the Las Vegas Raiders, when he was caught over the weekend when he was doing his, um, you know, his kids camp. And asked about how he feels about, you know, the rumors of him, um, you know, wanting to be gone and all of that. And I already told all, I told all these roaches with Raider hats out there, man, uh, that are trying to hate on him. Same ones that was hating on, you know, hitting on Josh Jacobs. The same ones that's hating on and, um, Antonio Brown being the coach. Hey, man. Devontae Adams is where he wants to be, man. And that quote unquote been telling you guys that. Um, and he reiterated it. Uh, he came out and he said, when he was asked about it, he said if he wanted to be gone, he'd be gone already. You know what I'm saying? But he doesn't want to be gone. And I've always told you guys, those of you guys that are members of this channel, those of you guys that are sub long-term subscribers, um, I've told you guys countless times the same scenario, man. I told you I don't know Devontae Adams. I told you I never met Devontae Adams. I don't know him, but I know his dad, Doug Adams. I know all his family. I know his cousins, his uncles. I know his aunties. I know all of them, okay? Because East Palo Alto, California is, is, is what it is. Hi, son. All right, thank you, big man. Uh, good night, black man. Okay, all right, love you. Okay, all right. Um. And I try to tell you, man, he comes from a, uh, a family of Raider fans. He's been a Raider fan his whole life. I mean, that's his team. That, he's getting, he's playing for his favorite team. Now, how we got to this team was definitely some dirty macking by those Patriot boys and them Boston Tea Party ass cats. You know what I'm saying? Those Boston Baked Bean boys, Josh and Dave, definitely uh, pulled the flim flam because he was supposed to be coming here playing football. With, with, with Derek Carr. That's what he came, he came to play with his best friend. On their, Both of them have the same favorite team, and that's what he came for. But we all know Josh McDaniels was not there to build anything, okay? And all he did was destroy everything. Got rid of and just got rid of everybody, damn near, outside of Josh Jacobs, which he tried to get rid of, but it didn't work. And after he was unceremoniously kicked to the curb with his best friend uh, Dave Ziegler on Halloween. Just imagine getting your ass fired on Halloween. That's worse than Craig getting fired for stealing boxes on his day off on Friday. Um, everybody was talking crazy about uh, Devontae Adams. Is, is, we need to get rid of him, this, that, and the third, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, you guys, you guys don't understand what you guys are talking about, man. You know, you don't have no idea. These these channels that were talking crazy, people talking about putting together a package with Devontae Adams and all that kind of stuff. You guys are stupid. You know, these guys are just dumb. They don't have any semblance of history of the Raiders. They don't have any semblance of understanding how things work with the team because they haven't been around. They were not fans of the team when the Raiders was winning anything. If you're under 40 years old, you don't know what winning Raider football is. You have to be at least 40, okay? If you're 40, you're 41, you're 45, you're older than that, you know what winning rate of football is because you've seen it, you've experienced it, you have rings, you have uh, 
you know, a pedigree of champions of a, at least a championship or maybe more. So you understand. But all these other channels, they don't know. They got you guys all fooled because they have a lot of people out there. They got a lot of subscribers. They got a lot of bells and whistles and cameras and, and, and graphics and all kinds of other bullshit. But what they don't have is they don't have no semblance of history and they don't got no rings. Okay? When you're over here listening to me, I've been a Raider fan 50 years. 1974 to 2024 is half a century. I, got, I am a three ringer, bro. I became a fan of this team two years before they won anything. I know how it feels to be a, a fan who's never won nothing. I know how it feels to be a fan who won one. I know how it feels to be a fan that's won two. I know how it feels to be a fan that's won three. And I know how it feels to not win shit in 40 years and not win a playoff game in 22. This is the place when you, when you want to know what's popping and you want to have some idea of how it's supposed to be, you come here, dog. You should be subbing this channel. You should already you know, sub who you want to and never tell you who to sub. But if you're not subbing over here, dog, then you definitely ain't trying to hear the real shit. Okay? And I told you, Devontae Adams' dream was to be a Raider, bro. There's a certain caliber of player who wants to be on the team. That is the most important part of, of, of especially free agent players. Okay? But those who got drafted in the Raider Nation, um, that's different because they don't have any other experiences other than the Raiders. Okay? Even if, even if they're bust or they, they didn't pan out, that's just because they didn't have the ability. Um, it, was, it wasn't anything other than that. They just didn't have the ability. Okay? Or they didn't have the effort level. Or they couldn't live up to the expectations, like a Jamarcus Russell. But if you're a free agent and you want to succeed with the Raiders, you have to want to be a Raider, bro. You don't get to come over here and think, oh, it's a free bag. Oh, it's, just, it's free lunch over here. Oh, oh man, they, they're, giving out, they're giving out checks. Let me go over to the Raiders because nobody's fucking with me. Don't work like that. They don't work like that. Okay. So I just want to make it clear again. I told you guys Devontae Adams is here for the long haul. Um, he, he spoke on, um, he spoke on, um, uh, on, uh, on coach Pierce and how he said that the culture has changed immediately and he's down for it. And I just wanted to just make that clear. So all these people thinking that he's going somewhere, he's not going anywhere. He's, he's the highest paid player on the team, 25 million per, he's not going nowhere. Okay. So I just want to reiterate that. Um, read you guys' questions. Like I said before, man, I'm, um, I'm chilling. Um, went out with, went out with the family and some friends, had, you know, had me a couple of alcoholic beverages and me great, great ass smash burger. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to, to shut it down. I'm, I'm pretty tired, but I'm gonna come here and talk it to you guys. All right. See what's going on. Let me read you guys' questions, man. Salute to all the mods out there. Salute to them. To the, I'm going to call y'all the Mod Squad, okay? All right, the Mod Squad. Salute to the Mod Squad. Okay, see what's going on. All right. Flex Money, what's going on, Flex? Ray Love, what's popping? Ray Love, Ray... If you already know what it is. Ray Love said, go Bulls. And, man, the Bulls acted. They, they, they showed out tonight. You know, we're going to see what's going on with, um, with them and the Knicks, man. That's going to be a good-ass game, okay? Really good ass game. Justin saw what's going on. What's popping, Ben? Picking it, dog. Kicking it, dog. Kicking it, dog. Okay. Um, uh, that boy, Kloss, week six, when y'all are two and four, he'll be demanding a trade to the J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets again. That boy, Kloss is, Kloss is a delusional Jets fan, man. We understand. We understand that, that, that Kloss is, you know, he picked, he's in New York and he could have picked, he could have been a Giants fan. But I guess he was colorblind and decided to pick the green and white instead of the uh, blue and blue and red. Uh, so he never wanted to play for the Jets. That was never going to happen. Okay? Like I said before, he's a Raider. He grew up playing for the Raiders, grew up wanting to be, for, be with the Raiders. His fourth grade pitcher, he, and he took a picture when he was in fourth grade. He had the braids with the Charles Woodson jersey on. Come on, Klaus. You're a Jets fan. You don't have nothing to cheer about. Anybody put on your jersey is cursed. As soon as they put it on, you see what happened to Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers ain't never been hurt like that in his life. 
puts on that damn uh, uh, dark ass uh, Christmas green and uh, his whole leg just fell off on the field and shit. Okay, so cut it out. All right. Tony Dale said, here from my L versus Philly. Yeah, man, my sixes came through. Uh, uh, salute to Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy uh, Butler. Jimmy Butler is having some M M MRI right now to find out if he has an MCL situation. Okay. And if they, you know, so the, the losers of these two games is playing to see if they can make, make the playoffs. So hopefully Jimmy, Jimmy uh, Butler is okay. I like Jimmy Butler, man. Um, Jimmy Butler is, is, is a guy who doesn't get enough credit for his skills. Um, so salute to Jimmy Butler, man. Hope he's okay. Uh, what's going on, Bev? Hey, Bev, you, 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 your brother's just laboring right now, dog. Yeah, I was out on a, I fell asleep, man. During this game, it was so damn boring. I woke up with five minutes left saying, okay, let me get on here and talk to y'all for a little bit. Um, Bev, what's going on? Hit that like button, subscribe, share, channel, lock in with a membership. Okay? There's, there's a link right there, man. That nothing to talking about. Okay, hold on. Jimmy Butler. Let's see what Jimmy Butler talking about. Let's see what Jimmy Butler saying. Okay, hold on, y'all. Jimmy Butler's talking. Jinx it, but I mean, I hope that I'm fine. I hope I wake up tomorrow and I can still stick and move. But oh, wow, uh, right now I can't say that's the case. Wow, he just didn't do well, I guess. I don't know, but uh, it's, it's not oh bad. man, damn, Jimmy Butler just said he can't say, but he just knows his knee don't feel right and he hopes he wakes up in the morning and they don't tell him that there's something's bad. That doesn't sound good, though. All right. Ray Love in the house, man. Salute. My sister Bev, what's going on, Bev? Uh, Daniel Berry Sports, what's going on? Bolong, Bulls win. Bolong was a little concerned. Bolong, he was concerned. Bolong was hitting me up on IM saying, what is our chances and what do I think? I said, hey, man, you guys can get out there and handle your business. Um, the Hawks, they just uh, they just don't have enough firepower, man. Uh, you know, A guy like uh, uh, Trey Young, he'll be with the Lakers soon. I mean, he ain't going to want to stay there and continue to just – Waste away, bro. Okay. I know Atlanta's cracking and he has a lot of money and all of that, but he, he he's a he's too good of a player to play with these dudes, man. He needs to be coming somewhere where he can actually win. Okay. Follow me on X, uh, Twitter, Shaxx21. Follow me on IG, Shaxx21. Uh, represent the unfiltered brand. Shop the merch. Buy some merch. Make it pop. Okay. All right. What's going on? Okay. Um. Huzz in the house. What's going on? Huzz, Huzz going crazy. Okay. Um, I ain't even like, I'm not even liking how this is headed with, 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 if you had to ask a question, why you got to say all that crazy shit? Just ask a question. That's why I don't like it. I'm already seeing that this might not be what's good for uh, us to talk to. Uh, what's going on, Tedrick? What's popping with all the mods out there, the mod squad in the house? Okay. Tony Dale, you sent the friend request on Facebook? Okay, the bed, okay, for sure. Uh, see, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm here instead of sleeping before the act. Yeah, dog. Um, I was, I was out cold, bro. I had, I had me a nice beer. I mean, I had me, a, we went to, a, um, um, uh, you know, a little ale house. Had me a nice smash burger. Had me, had me some ale. Then I'm also on this uh, stuff for my back. Dude, I'm ready. I, I was out, dog. I ain't even gonna hold you. Okay. Um, yeah, it's going down, man. But love, he's in New Jersey. I guess so. Um, Ted Adams is going to have about 1,500 yards, double digits for touchdowns this year. All these guys that were saying get rid of Adams because he's washed up, man. I'm like, man, this dude had 103 catches. This dude had a, has had back-to-back a -back 100, 100 uh, catches in a year, man. 100, he had 106 catches of 1,100 yards, and he had three different quarterbacks throwing him the pill. He didn't have no, no continuity at all. Three different quarterbacks, he still got 1,100 yards and, and, and 106 catches. Catching it from three different quarterbacks, two different offenses, two different offensive coordinators. Like, that's that's that 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 that's incredible, bro. That's incredible. No no type of continuity and no type of of of, of uh, you know, familiarity with anybody. We he don't know from week to week. It could have been anybody throwing him the rock. Okay, Tony Dell in the house. Okay, Ray Love said, yeah, straight straight cursed. Yeah, straight cursed, bro. I mean, come on, dog. I mean. I mean, the, the last the last great player they had do anything for him was Joe was a, a, a Broadway Joe Namath man Joe Willie Namath in '69 when they were in the AFL. Okay, they haven't done nothing since the merger, bro. Okay, merger was in 1970. 
Uh, they won a championship, the Super Bowl three in 1969, and they ain't done shit except come over here and, and try to poach other people's players and shit. OK, it's just like it's, it's just like the uh, the Jets, are, the Jets and Klaus's Klaus's and the Jets, they just like, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the nasty ass men that just stand by the women's bathroom and try to pop at them as they go inside and go, babe, you already know they, they congregate by the women's restroom, just kind of hanging around trying to talk to somebody. And when they coming in and out, knowing that they got a date, knowing that they, they all got a boyfriend or they, they just go to the bathroom real quick. Women always go to the bathroom in pairs for that reason, just in case some of these taco meat ass Jets fans are standing there. Like, hey, girl, what's going on? What you drinking? What you and your girl drinking? Them type. Of, that's the Jets, though. OK, that's what it is. All right. Rich said Atlanta said uh, Cancun on three. One, two, three. C -c Cancun. And Cancun is popping, bro. OK, Cancun is definitely popping. And uh, they, they, the jet, the uh, Hawks are going to be there. Uh, you, you know, you got the Warriors are already there, man. The Warriors, you can do some deep sea fishing with with Steph Curry and uh, 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 Draymond Green. Uh, but you better put a life preserver on Clay Thompson because uh, he was over ten, and he might not be he might not be able to swim in those in those waters out there, dog. That's what it is. Okay, it's, it's playoff time, dog. There ain't gonna be no ass kissing. Okay? And like I said before, I still ain't heard nothing from Dub Nation. They're still licking their wounds and shit. Okay? Ain't said nothing to me at all. Okay? But if the Lakers would have lost, they would have found a time to call me. All right? Matthew Cano in the house. Man, what's up, Uncle Shaq? I have a question. Do you think, how do you think the players feel about Coach Antonio Pierce? Everybody that's there, uh, they just started uh, a voluntary, um, voluntary uh, uh, training camp. Max is there. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Adams is there. Um, you know, all the big people are there, bro. Christian Wilkins is there. They love him, dog. Now, here's the thing. All right. I've been paying attention and this is something that I've been wanting to talk about, but I'm going to go ahead and mention it now. The players didn't hate Josh McDaniels. The play, a lot of the players did not hate Josh McDaniels. A lot of them kind of liked him. Okay? And, and, and that was very surprising for me to find out, that they actually liked him. But they didn't, they knew that he wasn't the guy. It's kind of like a person who you know, you, you, you know, he's cool with you, he doesn't give you any reason for you not to like him, but he ain't, he ain't the guy. Okay? Now, I know... Josh Jacobs don't like him. Josh Jacobs gone. I know Derek Carr don't like him. Derek Carr's gone. I know that Darren Waller didn't like him spilling out his wedding information. He's gone. So Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler did a good job, but the people who wasn't really fucking with him, he got rid of all those motherfuckers. Okay? But Adams has said that he thought Josh was a nice guy. And, 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 and a lot of these, you know, even Max said it. But they knew that it was time for a change. They knew it wasn't working. OK, because having two or three guys liking you who are the top athletes on that team doesn't help you win because you have to have the entire team buying in and the entire team wasn't buying in just because, you know, he's know how to deal with superstars. He knew how to deal with uh, Adams. He knew how to deal with a uh, Max Crosby. OK, he knows how to deal with stars, but. The Indians, bro, is what you need to be able to galvanize, and he couldn't galvanize them. So Antonio Pierce don't got that problem. Everybody's fucking with fucking with uh, AP. Everybody ain't anybody that, that that ain't fucking with AP. They won't be around long. Okay, you see, as soon as he walked in the door, he told Marcus Peters, "Hit the door, bro. Leave the playbook, shit." Okay. And uh, make sure you pick up all your shit. Everything that's Raider, take all that shit off. Put it in the corner. We'll make sure to wash it. Yeah, he checked. They want Devontae to lead the Raiders so bad. Shaq is the fourth time repeating himself that he wants to stay a Raider. And you know what? He checked. You got to be. You got to understand when somebody's trying to set you up for a robbery, bro. Okay? You got to know. You got to know, man, that the wrong people are, are, are looking at the Hellcat. Okay? Everybody's. Walk them, you know, you come out to your come out to the, you know, out the out the out the spot and people are looking, you know, look, standing around your shit. OK, cool. But everybody, every time I go somewhere, somebody's standing by my shit. 
Then you start starting noticing people across the street and shit and like motherfuckers is trying to figure out where you live at. Motherfuckers trying to figure out where the, where, where the car is at. Okay. Trying to set you up for a robbery and shit. Your ass being there uh, with Big Shirley. Big Shirley didn't put it on you. Uh, she done twist and twir twirled on your ass and your ass is out cold and shit. Okay, you're up under one of her one of her fat layers, keeping your ass warm and shit. And somebody's out there motherfucking uh, getting your alarm code and chirping your shit, trying to take your shit. And that's what it is with Devonte Adams. You just heard what Kloss said. Kloss is over here, definitely trying to plant uh, uh, hydrogen bombs and uh, smart smart bombs and everything else. Uh, 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 trying to blow shit up like he Wiley Coyote over here and shit. To try to get Devontae Adams when Devontae ain't thinking about them at all. That's what happens, man. When you got something that people covet, people are going to try to assault you. They're going to try to, your girl look good enough, dog. Some, even somebody you think wouldn't talk, wouldn't holler at is hollering at her. You got I'm telling you. So, yeah, it is the fourth time you had to say that shit. Okay? Because they know we on to something. And you got to understand, it's us versus everybody. Media don't love the Raiders. Media's never loved the Raiders, bro. Okay? Anytime that they can drag us, they would. And when we did win, and this is the part that a lot of y'all don't understand, you, a lot of you guys really think when we win a Super Bowl again, and we will win one, when we win a Super Bowl again, everybody's going to love us. Everybody's going to come up to you and say congratulations. Everybody's going to come up to you and say, hey, man, about time, man. Uh, that was good, da, da, da. No, they're not. Take it from somebody who's won a Super Bowl three times. No. They hate you more, bro. You're the op. You're the one they don't want you to win. They don't want you to win. They don't want you to have good players. They don't want us to have Mad Max. Like, How many times, hey, man, Max is wasting away over there. When you see all these fans talking shit, you got to understand. That's how they feel about you, dog. Oh, man, Devontae Adams, man, he's wasting away over there. Uh, man, he should come in. You guys should trade him for blah, blah, blah. And, uh, trade him for, uh, you know, uh, a hot coffee. From Starbucks. Give him a, a Starbucks gift card, man. Just trade Max for a Starbucks gift card, man. When you win a Super Bowl as a Raider, they hate you more. They just tell you you got lucky. They tell y'all still ain't shit. We still ain't fucking with you. It never gets good. The only thing that's good if you're wired right and that DNA in, is, is right in you. And that bloodstream, is, is, blood come out of that motherfucker's half silver, half black like me. The greatest part is to have everybody pissed off at you and you get to tell them, Fuck all y'all. I'm a Super Bowl champion. I done that shit three times, dog. Motherfuckers were still mad. I didn't give a fuck. They had call me champion too. Okay? So it ain't never gonna be. There's always gonna be somebody trying to do that. Okay? Right? Bev say, oh no, big uh Jimmy Buckets. Yeah, he plays well, man, but they keep showing it, man. Jimmy just I think he hit knees with that big ass Joel L beat ass guy, man. Um, but it doesn't look good, dog. So I'm, prayers go to Jimmy Buckets, man. Ted Webb, I got a question for you, brother. Who has the hardest solo album out of the Wu-Tang Clan? Shit, man, they're probably Liquid Sword. Liquid Swords, probably, dog. Liquid Swords is probably... RZA, that's probably the best, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Probably the best. God. All right, hold on a second. Andrews, one, two, three, I slapped that hat off your funky ass head. Now, you know what the problem is with you, dog? I'm looking at your picture. Why your eyebrows... Or one brow, you unibrow ass motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker, his shit, he looking like Ernie from fucking uh uh fucking Sesame Street. Look at you, dog. Big ass booger ass head. You got you got one of them motherfucker, fuck a slapper head. You you got one of them fucking soccer heads. We just kick your motherfucking ass in the face. Okay, you look like your mama kicked you in the face when you was born and shit, and your daddy tried to throw you in the lake, but you didn't drown. Get your bitch ass off my motherfucking channel, dog. Fuck out of here. You wouldn't do shit. Okay, who's next? <laughs> who's next? It's, it's real easy, bro. Okay, real easy. All right. All right. Robert Munoz in the house. Yo, Matthew Schechter, like, like this charge of becoming the Baltimore Chargers is what I heard. Hey, man. When you're the Chargers, bro, you just got to go wherever you can, dog. It's that simple, you know. It's like Robert. It's like Robert. You ever been to one of them one of them towns, man? You might have been, you know, uh, you know, you know, rolling around the country, or you might be somewhere, dog, and you, you really get something to eat, and there's no places open and shit. 
So you got to go down to the uh, to the gas station to get you a bag of chips or some shit because that's the only thing that's open is the gas station. That that's the Chargers. Chargers don't got no home. Chargers ain't got no stadium. Chargers ain't got no motherfucking Super Bowl rings. They don't got shit. They just got to be ever wherever the fuck they can go get them a bag of potato chips. That's where they get a bag of potato chips at, dog. Okay. Nobody's making them a hot meal. They ain't got no female. They ain't got no girl. They can go and say, hey, uh, you know, can I come by? Is y'all cooking or nothing? They ain't got shit. Okay. They ain't got nothing, though. Ray Love, Jets fans smell like hot dog water. They smell like hot dog water that has been sitting for a month and a half. Okay. Right. With the hot dog still in it. Right. They ain't doing shit. Always talking about what they can't have. Okay. It's like these trolls on here, dog. They mad at us because we're about to hit 8,000 8, subscribers. Okay, we're, 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 we're less than 200 subscribers away from hitting 8,000, bro. It's on and popping. When we was at the Super Bowl, we hit 7,000. That was two months ago. Two months ago. Okay, we, we, we almost there, dog. They're going to get more and more mad. I'm going to have to drag more and more of them. Okay, but it is what it is. It's very easy for me to do that. What's up, Yusuf? What's going on? Okay. Zachary Williams, one thing I heard about, you know, thoughts on the Raiders drafting situation. I haven't heard nothing, dog. I've just been hearing about what we're going to do. And as far as the, as far as all the so-called experts, we're going to be drafting the old linemen. Okay. What else can we hear, bro? The Raiders aren't giving anything away. It's chestnut checkers. They're playing, they're, they're, no, it's, it's Texas Hold'em and shit. You know, um, nobody's going to relieve their hand, dog. We're going to find out, but I'm going to tell you this shit right now. I don't expect nothing from Dave Ziggler at all. I mean, Dave Ziggler, excuse me, from um, uh, Coupon Tom. I don't expect shit. Okay. We're going to find out. Okay. We're going to find out. Okay. Um, Arvin Munoz is laughing. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, you guys, you guys are going in over here. Dave Salsuna, what's going on? No more Mr. Nice Guy, Alice Cooper and shit. Okay, Rob Hughes said, Wally could like super genius. Exactly. These motherfuckers, uh, uh, they, they so smart, they stupid. Okay? That's the thing about Wally Coyote. He's so smart. He's dumb. These guys come over here, swear they're smarter than us, but they're the ones that's getting blocked. I mean, it doesn't make no sense, dog. Come over here to say something one time, and then you never can speak again, dog. It's crazy as hell, dog. I mean, that's what it is. But if you're in here, hit that like button. Let's go. Okay? All right? Okay, let's see what something else is going on. All right, let's see. Yeah, 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 y'all going in, okay? Um, Ramuso Munoz, all the media does, ESPN, all of them say we're going to be last in AFC. This charge will be just as good as a Queefs. One thing that I'm always going to do over here, you guys, man, especially you, you know, I have a lot of respect for you guys. If you're a subscriber over here and you're somebody who comes over, you're, you're an active contributor to this channel, I'm going to always give you the best I can give you. I'm going to give you the best info. I'm going to give you the best perspectives. I'm going to give you an idea of, of my experiences, especially if you're a member of, 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 of the Raider Nation. I'm going to give you whatever I can give you. Okay. Not everybody in here deserves it. So that's why we have to get rid of the people that don't deserve it, bro. Okay. But that being said, um, the media doesn't love, has never loved the Raiders, dog. Like, I'm, this is old. This is not new, dog. This shit is old. Like, I've always said, man, there should be an aptitude test to be in the Raider Nation. For you to be a fan of this team, that should be like, like a driver's test. Like, you have to fucking pass your written test, then you got to get behind the wheel with a, a established member uh, 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 of the Raider of the Raider Nation, a, a made man or woman needs to fucking drive around with your ass to see if you deserve to have a be a card carrying member of this fan base because there's too many there's too many buckos in here, man. Okay, these guys be in here wearing the shield, diddling. Okay, they're diddlers, bro. Right, they're in there playing take that, take that. Okay, not that's not the Raider way. All right. It's been going on. If you haven't watched Al Davis versus the NFL, you, sh you, you, really, should, you really should be on suspension. You should have to be suspended license because the media has always been like that with us. It's always negative press, negative this, negative that. Um, we ain't knowing what we're doing, this, that, the third, blah, blah, blah. And that's when we were winning, bro. 
it's worse because we haven't been winning the way we're supposed to. So it's more. But it's never going to be they're never going to treat us like they treat the Chiefs. They're never going to treat us like they teach the Steelers. They're never going to treat us like they treat the Cowboys. They're never going to treat us like, you know, like they treat the Patriots. We can win 10 Super Bowls in a row. They're still going to talk shit. Okay? Because look at the fans. The fans talk shit. They're looking at the fans. If the fans don't respect the, respect the shield, they don't got to respect the shield, bro. It's like anything. Okay? So when you say ESPN, I already know what they're going to say. When you say Fox Sports, you already know what they're going to say. You already know what uh, uh, hairline Stephen A. Smith's going to say. You already know what Skeletor uh, uh, Skip Bellis is going to say. You already know what Shay, Shay Sharp's going to say. They ain't going to say nothing positive. So why are you guys looking at them to say something positive when they're not? Okay. Zero in the house. What's going on, dog? Okay. Zero says, we up next. We are. Troy Dale, is there a media college team you can compare to media hate like the Raiders get media hate? College team? Let me think. There was a time, uh, uh, Tony, your, your, the you down there in Miami was, was, was talk shit about, okay? When y'all had, um, when you guys had um, 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 Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson down there and you had Dennis Erickson, there was a time when they were talking about the U because they thought the U was a little bit too, it's a little bit too uh, Afrocentric, okay. But you guys were, you know, winning all those games. But there was a time when uh, Miami was viewed as a place where a lot of bad shit was going on, okay. But it's not like us, no, not even close. Follow me on uh, at Shaxa Twenty One at IG. Tip on the Cash App, okay. Rob Munoz, man. F the charges bolts up my ass. <laughs> Logo facing down. <laughs> Funny as hell, dog. Yeah, Jizzle, that's, yeah, Jizzle, that's what I meant. Um, yeah, man, looking like motherfucker. I'll be sure he backs, okay? Yeah, Bo, hey, dog. Hey, Bo, you already know looking like Ernie from Sesame Street and shit, okay? Come on, dog. These motherfuckers, these motherfuckers are on here because no girl would look at them, dog. Like, they can't, they can't even take a girl for a fucking uh, ice cream sandwich uh, uh, down at the Quick Way or at fucking 7-Eleven or some shit. They, them, them bras ain't fucking with these dudes at all, and they mad. They mad about it. They're going to take it out on us, dog. Okay. First, they're going to take it out on us. Then they're going to go and take it out on themselves with these five motherfuckers right here, dog. Okay. That's what it is. The eyebrows said, yeah, he get his eyebrows done. You see this motherfucker's picture, bro? And then his avatar. How the fuck does a guy take a picture with his head tilted like this? <laughs> what dude takes a fucking picture with his head tilted? Like I said, man, these, these these dudes are diddlers, bro. Okay, they dilly dallying and shit. Okay, they they did he do it? Did he do it? Okay, straight up, right? Met the man. Meth is my boy, dog. Meth's my boy. Okay, him, him, him and Ghostface took pictures with my son, man. Man, off the chain and me. Zachary Reynolds, man, Shaq, you comedy, brother. Hey, dude, when when you ride like me, you gotta be quick. My neighborhood, bro, you got to know how to snap somebody fast, man. It is, it's just part of how I was raised, bro. Somebody say something crazy to you, you got to hit them back immediately. That wit has to be like that, bro. I am, I am not the one for somebody coming over there trying to say some shit. You see, it's real quick and effortless, okay? Very effortless. I was the guy in high school. I say something you're going to want to fight after. It was funny until I said what I had to say. It was all jokes and shits and giggles when, when, when you said your insult. And when I said mine's back, everybody's, ooh, ah, ah, motherfuckers running around, sprinting to the football field, crying, girls is laughing. Now motherfuckers want to fight. That's me, dude, because I'm going to say some shit that's going to make you want to fucking square up. I'm not, I'm not even fucking around with you, dog. Yeah, don't play with me, all right? Definitely going to say some shit. Yeah. Bolong fucking rolling. You see his picture, Bolong? Like I said before, dog. This motherfucker. All y'all got pictures with y'all face straight. I'm looking at you guys' avatars. You guys' faces, you know, straight, perpendicular and shit. North, south. This motherfucker's face was tilted north, northeast. Dude, you don't tilt your fucking head in a picture and put it on the fucking. See what I'm saying, dog? Like just these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers, I'm trying to tell you, dog. Okay. These, these, these motherfuckers I'm trying to tell you, bro. All right. 
they, they, they definitely strange for some change uh, opportunists and shit. Okay. Don't drop the soap okay, or anything else. All right. Okay. Yeah, and Ray Love, metrosexual. How the fuck are you coming over here talking about what you're going to... And they tried to be the most gangster of all. I'll come and slap that hat off your head. Motherfucker, your head is tilted at a, at a 45 degree angle and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Take something. Dude, only time a guy... Let, me, let your Uncle Shaq help you guys. Uncle Shaq is always here to help my nephews and shit. Okay, because I'm talking about the nephews, the nieces, they got it together. Nephews, the only time you take a picture with your head tilted is when you're tilting your head on your girl. Your girl's right here and you put your head on her head. That's it. You don't take no fucking picture by yourself tilted, bro. Okay, no man does that unless you're a diddler, bro. You, you a diddler. Okay. You're walking around with the feather boas and shit, and it ain't fucking Christmas. It ain't uh, fucking Halloween and shit. It ain't New Year's. Okay. Just trying to tell you, bro. All right. Trying to help these guys out. But you know, they don't, some of you can't help. Okay. All right. You say, yeah, Uvalde back in the day, bars were closed at 8 a.m. Dude, we used to call them towns uh, up under the grounds at 6 p.m., dog. Okay. Up under the ground, everything closes at 6. Grocery store, all that shit. Like, fuck, can I go, I mean, you just can't just get up and say, hey, man, you know what, man, you know, I, I got some, you know, I got some corn, I got me some nice uh, tortilla chips in here, and it'd be nice to get me some nice salsa. Let me just run over and get some salsa. That motherfucker's locked up. They got the prison bars on that bitch, and it's fucking 6.30 in, 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 uh, at night. Like, man, fuck, well, shit, man, we close at 6, and they close at 6. That motherfucker is done. Counting, up, everything's done. Fucking parking lot empty. Okay. Um, user said the trolls are on nonstop the last few days. No, no, they 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 gonna stay gonna be on, bruh. Okay, it's like anything else, bruh. Okay, where do the bums hang out, Yusuf? They hang they hang out at the fucking convenience store, dog. The ones that stay open all night. That's where shit. That's where people are. Trolls don't go where there ain't nobody at. They, they put a lot of effort making sure that they bought the right thong for thong, thong, thong to put in a to put in a to put in a cracks with the matching heels and shit. And they want to be seen. They back they at the gas station and shit. They're congregating at the 24 hour motherfucking uh, drive through and shit. Okay, like I said, man, if it ain't popping, they ain't there. Be happy that they're around. Cause we popping, but hey, dude, you know what I'm saying? We don't care that you're wearing a a a, a furry a furry bra, bro. We don't care that we that we're not worried about all of that. That's that's for you to do. Okay, we're not interested. We're not you know. Don't try to sell us none of your none of, none of your goods and services, man. You're gonna have to go where they want your where your ass at. Okay, Freddie Chavez says salute. Ray loves the charges of trash. Smoking pots. What's going on, pots? I mean, I ain't seen you in a few days, man. Okay. Real Chiefs Kingdoms, Kingdoms member. Now, it's been a minute. AP has your beanie. Mail him to show up on stuff. You make it went on the, all together. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You know, I'm working on it. I, I've, I've done more than, than y'all thought. Oh, it's going down, dog. Okay. It's going down. But I appreciate that, though. Pots, appreciate you, brother. Okay. Um... I mean, you know, the Broncos got three, uh, three goes ready, got three girls, Chiefs got four discharges rolling up all by themselves. Like I said, dog, that's what it is, dog. A bit, you know, some people, some people ain't fly. Some people don't know how to dress. Some people ain't fly. Some people don't know what looks good on them. Some people don't, some of these dudes don't know how, what, what haircut looks good on them. Some, some, some of them don't, don't understand that just because you're going bald don't mean that you that you need to cover bald head because some of y'all got them motherfucking hot dog packs in the back of your shit. You might have to get your George Jefferson on or you might have to go to the hair club for men and go get you some glue and they could put uh put some put some motherfucking uh, carpet on your shit. Dye it up. They got all kinds of techniques now. Shit. Line your shit up. Okay. Because everybody is everybody. Everybody ain't looking good out here. Uh, Bev said Yankees with the W over Blue Jays. Yes, I was watching that game, Bev, and we were getting our asses whooped. We were losing. We were losing 4-1, and in the bottom of the ninth, man, we started coming alive, man. Ron Soto hit a home run. 
uh, the cat got on base. Uh, um, uh, we, 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 we got a, a, a double that went in. We had to, and then Aaron judge, man, my, my, my captain okay, came in and hit a two run, a two run single. And that was it, bro. It was barbecue chicken. Okay. I saw that whole game. I saw that entire comeback, babe. I was sitting right on the couch with your nephew. Okay. Rich said 8K coming soon. You guys don't get, you, you can't get flustered by, by haters, bro. Like you, you got to understand. If you got one hater, then you, that doesn't mean you all of that. If you got a couple of cats, that's that doesn't mean you're you're cracking, bro. But when you got total motherfucking strangers and they coming religiously to try to sabotage your shit, you on the you on the come up. There's nothing they can do. Nothing they can do. All they can do is get their little word in, and then they block forever, dog. Then they got to go and create a whole nother account. Like who has time to do that? Who has time to keep getting? kicked off the fucking server for them to re, 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 uh, re-sign up again for another channel and shit. So, you know, like I said before, you must have a lot of time on your hands. God. Red Spade, there's players I really like in the first round, but we need a franchise quarterback. We do. Brady's comeback win, that was beautiful. It was beautiful, Rich. It was beautiful. Both said my Bulls and White Sox won. Yeah, man. Good night. Yeah. Kobe White got busy, man. Kobe White, I didn't, I didn't think that they were going to be able to... Um, you know, the Rosen, you know, he, he, of course, you know, um, Compton's most wanted shit, one of the Compton's greatest. Um, I knew that he would show up, but Kobe White went, he went ballistic, bro. Okay. Kobe White thought he was Kobe Bryant tonight. He went for 40. And I was like, wow. He was lighting him up. Sacramento's, man, you please, the Lakers are finally going to make the Nuggets their daddy. Hey, man, we're going we gonna to go out of our way, dog. Okay, Dr. Van was in here talking shit two days before, talking about we gon' we we gonna dodge the fade, we ducking the fade. We ain't ducking no fucking fades, bro. It's on and popping Saturday, dog, 5:30. It's on and popping. We ain't docking, we ain't dog, uh, walking uh, nowhere out outside of going over there to Denver and 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 uh, doing what we gotta do. Okay, that's what it is. Ray Love in the house. Okay. Yeah, the media has never loved us. Robert Munoz, Big Daddy Murder draft next week. Uh, no, week after next. Um, wait, wait a minute. No, what's the date? What's the date? 16th? 17th? I think, I think it's another week, bro. I think it's the week after next, if I ain't mistaken. Is in late Shack, what are you talking about, man? Bert Noni, eyebrows. Yeah, man, that motherfucker, dog. Coming in here talking about what he going to do and shit. Okay? Real ones don't talk about what they going to do. They just do it. Okay? But like I said before, this motherfucker, his eyebrows were all one. Like he, like he was, I'll be sure and shit. Okay? And uh, he had his head tilted in a picture, bro. Who the fuck does that? Okay. Like I said, man, some of these dudes uh, were definitely raised by their grandmothers, bro. Ain't nothing wrong being raised by your grandmother, but don't walk around acting like you was raised by your grandmother, dog. Okay. Have some masculine traits, too. Okay. Go Bulls. Go Stocks. I see you smoking pots. I think Gunfield is one of the best branding I've ever heard. Thank you, dog. It, it, it just came. It came from y'all. Okay. Came from y'all. Um, I was like anybody else, man. It was on these people's channels. And, and um, you know, watching and, and not getting the answers that I wanted. I'm like, okay, how come nobody's asking this? And then when I would ask a question, I wouldn't, they wouldn't read my shit. I'm like, okay, cool. Fuck it. I start my own shit. Okay? And we're where we are today, bro. Okay? Yeah, Dave Sassoon, this is Raider Prerequisites. You already know. Bo Long, salute. Okay? License revoked. We need to meet these motherfuckers, man. Definitely need to get arrested for, uh, 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 raidering on a on a suspended Raider Nation license and shit. Stop raidering when you ain't quali- when you ain't active. You need to have an uh, a active license and shit. Cause there's just too many clowns in there in the fan base, bro. Too many, too many clowns, bro. Okay, all right. So it's a lifetime deal. Yeah, dog. Okay, you only get out one way. Okay, and that's with that box that you're gonna be in. Okay. I mean, you said, yeah, take that, take that, capitalized by Diddy. No Vaseline, no Vaseline, no damn motor oil and shit, no Crisco oil, none of that, okay? Nothing. It's that simple, okay? Tony Bless Al Davis and the Raiders are being the Trump treatment. Losers always hate winners. Hey, it, it, it's, it's, not even, it's not even that, bro. It's not even that. It's worse than that, okay? You can't even compare the Raiders to Trump. Because Trump actually ha- has a, a constituent of people that are actually going to go blow for blow to get him back in office. You're going to find out in a couple of months when they start running this barrage and shit. 
This dude has this dude has done has been ac uh, accused and and shown to have done a lot of shit. But guess what? He gonna be right there trying to be the president. Ain't nobody gonna stop him from doing it. So we don't have it like that, though. We don't. Yes. Ray Love. Say like Reynolds, man. You think we get Tom Brady as part of the media? Uh, you think it'll lead us grief? Okay, let's talk about that. I've been hearing this forever. When the whole Tom Brady shit started popping off and people start, uh, oh, okay, Caitlin Clark looking kind of cute right here. Okay, go ahead, Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark cleans up pretty good. She's she looking pretty decent right here. Okay. Um, she got some makeup on and shit. Um, everybody was talking about uh, uh, Raider Nation, talking uh, talking about Tom Brady coming to Raider Nation. Uh, same thing they were talking about Josh McDaniels. Shaq, now that we have Josh McDaniels and we have some Patriots, man, the referees are going to. Now, man, Tom Brady, man, if we get Tom Brady, it's going to. You think if Tom Brady becomes an owner, they're going to take it easy on us. If Tom Brady decides to come back, it's not how it works. No. Tom Brady isn't powerful enough to fix what it is. The only person who can fix what it is, and you ain't going to like this answer. You're not going to like this fucking answer that I'm going to give you motherfuckers out there about who's the person that's going to make it easier for us. It ain't Tom Brady. It ain't Antonio Pierce. It ain't nobody on that team. It ain't it ain't Tom Coupon Tom. It's Mark Davis. Mark Davis is the only person that has the power to have the NFL Lay off of us. Son. That's the only person. That's the only guy who has the power to change the dynamic with us with the NFL. It's Mark Davis. That's it. And y'all don't like that answer. But it's the facts. And you know what? Oh, he's safe. Mark Davis has already done it. He's shown the league. The Raiders are a viable commodity. Oh, he is out in the National Football League. That Super Bowl we just had two months ago was the number one all-time most watched television program in the history of TV. That Super Bowl, the Super Bowl that we just had, I was there was the most lucrative Super Bowl that was ever made. They, they made more money on commercials. Las Vegas had more people on the strip than any other time. It was super successful, bro. It was a knockout of the park. We are in the, we are in the NFL's, not in, I can't say we're in their good graces, but we're not in their doghouse right now. That's some other teams. It's not us. We're not in the doghouse. We're in the, okay, we're outside of the doghouse, but the doghouse is right there. Like, Mark Davis is the only person that's going to take it easy on us. He continues to do what the NFL wants. They continue to make the NFL money with the gambling, with all of that shit. And the Raiders are a team that we're not getting any trouble. We're not the Chiefs. We don't have no motherfuckers right now. The guy who did that is in jail. We don't got nobody having no accidents. We ain't got nobody that's having no six car collisions and shit. We don't have no 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 police blotters. Ain't nobody been arrested. Ain't nobody. We ain't got no DV cases. We just keep playing it clean. Keep your nose clean. It's like the homie who just got off a of parole. Keep him away from the guns. Keep him away from the weed. Keep him away from the drink. Get him a job. Tell him to keep doing the right thing. And we'll see. Tragic Webb, yep, Shaq, Liquor Swords is a classic. Yeah, that's right. T Tackle by man was only built for Cuban links. Yeah, yeah. Um, apocalypse, ain't many of us left that can say we lived throughout Davis and NFL real time. Proud of that shit. That's true, bro, but you weren't alive when George Washington was the president of the United States, but you know he was the first president. Like, there's shit you're supposed to know. Like, 
to, you don't have to be there. You know, history isn't every, you know, all what you've been through. Some history is stuff that happened before you. And it takes effort to do that. It takes effort to, to, to want to know your team and know what it is. Like, when I became a fan of the team, I wanted to know everything about them, dog. Like, I don't know what people's enthusiasm is. When I like something, I, I do my homework, I do my research, I study, I'm reading, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm trying to find information. You know, I didn't even have the internet. Shit, a lot of y'all motherfuckers don't even know what microfiche is. Y'all don't even know what that shit is. Microfiche is when you go to the library and, and you look in them damn periodical cards and you pull that shit out and it's, it's like, hey, you know, a through A, uh, I, and you got a tool out and you start pulling that shit up and, and you pull a card up and you're trying to find a certain subject and then you go and you, you put that fucking, uh, they pull out, you give it to this librarian, the librarian gives you back uh, a reel of, 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 uh, of, of photos, like a, of a photo reel that you put in an old fashioned camera and then you put that motherfucker inside of the microfiche machine and then it lights up and then you're scrolling on the damn shit looking at picture i'm looking at uh, copies of the newspapers and you're sliding it over and you're doing all this to try to find information that you could find out like this on google i was in there doing microfiche and shit on al davis i'm like going to the public library spending the afternoon in there to learn everything because i had to read the newspapers read magazine articles and shit you might be able to see some video we have to do it that way not the internet you don't gotta do none of that okay but these these young these youngins ain't trying to do that though. They ain't they ain't trying. They just want to look good with with the colors on and walk around and tell us us OGs we don't know what we're talking about. So a boss man, like with Shield came later, man. I remember having to hate Ben Davison. Ben Davison was a bad motherfucker, dog. Okay, they love getting their checks clapped like Mike Meek. Yeah, dog. Okay, come on, dog. You heard that audio? Okay, like I said before, man. There's no way in hell on God's green earth if I was Meek Mill and I, that I I wouldn't be trying to. Clear my damn name, dog. Yeah, it, 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 it definitely be somebody. It definitely me be out here bing binging some cats. And like I said before, w w you know, where's Diddy? Diddy should be at least come out and say that it didn't happen. Okay. Raider, Sp uh, Raider Space said the worst one is Mike Florio. Uh, I don't know, man. Al Michaels is, might be the worst. Al Michaels is worse than him, dog. Okay. Run them likes up. Let's go. Teddy talking to Bev. Okay. Bunch of marks, man. Yeah, they, 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 they something else. I bought them Jimmy Johnson canes with some motherfuckers. Like I'm saying, dog, they were. Okay? They were, dog. Uh, I mean, just instigating them. It's, it's all the good old days facts. Motherfucking head shaped like Michael Myers. Yeah, dog, like I said before, something wrong. If you don't got a hockey mask and you look like Michael Myers, something's wrong with shit. Okay? You look like your, your normal face. Oh, damn, Bo Long. They're showing, uh, showing a home run that you. This motherfucker just hit for the, for the uh, Gavin Sheets. Good gracious. He look, he hit that ball like 500 feet. Okay, I'm sure I'm looking at uh, ESPN right now. I mean, you know, some in my picture kissing my wife. That's dope. Okay, um, yeah, you guys know what it is, man. But tilting your head by yourself, you, 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 I'm the last person you should be worried about. Should be, you should be checking your pelotas to see if they really there. Okay, you know what I'm saying, Rob Munoz. Okay, Bev says he's zesty with the sideway head pose. You see how I noticed that shit. But he's the toughest guy in the room, man. But he can't keep his head straight when a picture goes. All right. Family pictures. Everybody's standing there. Okay, man. You ready? Okay. You hire the photographer. You know, your grandmother. She always wants pictures of her grandkids and shit. He's the guy in the camera that's. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Get your ass out of here. Okay. He ain't never heard that before. I guarantee you he'll be changing his avatar. All right. We won't be there to see it. For a long hell yeah to be out at the liquor store, man. Like, brother, get up a few dollars. Yeah, man. Happened. It happened to me. Happened to me uh, 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 yesterday, man. Yesterday, I'm sitting in the car with my son. Waiting, wife went in the store. And I'm sitting there waiting. And, and this motherfucker come right up to me, dog. Hey, dog, you know, can you, uh, hey, man, can I'm like, nah, dog, no. Nah. Well, I be having my window roll down and shit. Like, nah, dog. I'm sorry, bro. Okay, okay. God bless you, bro. God bless you, dog. Ain't hating. You know, we, all of us... You know, it's, it's a couple of situations, if not a situation or a couple of situations away from being out, too. Bad, a bad situation hits, but, you know, where do you think they be at? They be at where people are at, okay, where people are doing better than them. If they can't even afford a, a motherfucking a, a pack of Bubblicious and you can go in and you can put 20 on 10, they there, okay? Is what it is, man, okay? 
Robin Yost, man, belongs to Joe Jefferson. That's right. And I said, Big Shirley, you always get me on Uncle Shaq, man. You man funny, made me feel better. Hey, man, that's what I'm here to do. Okay? What's the use of me being on here if I'm not entertaining? Okay. Yeah, Mike Trout. Yeah, Mike Trout. Shh, Mike Trout is a monster, bro. Okay. All right. Yeah, they're showing his play right now. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, that's right, man. My Yankees, bro. Uh, Anthony Volpe, man, with that damn slide he made, man. What a good ass fucking play, bro. That was jeterish, bro. That was very jeterish. Speaking of draft, would you hate to see go to the Chiefs? I heard there's a ton of wide receivers this year. Hey, man, it's not. I don't. I don't. Uh, Pasa, I don't he need to uh, have you guys draft somebody to hate y'all, man. Y'all, y'all the world champions, man. I'm sick of you, motherfuckers, Pots. I'm tired of y'all, dog. I really am, man. Salute to you, man. My boy Pots is, is, is a real certified four ringer with the Chiefs. Man, unfiltered member on here. I mean, unfiltered uh, uh, um, subscriber and all of that. Uh, but I'm tired of you guys, man. I hope you guys, I hope you guys uh, uh, draft the, the sorriest wide receiver out there. I hope you guys uh, draft a whole cancer that'll come in there and just ruin your whole, uh, uh, whole continuity out there, man. You got, I'm, I'm, there's nothing that I could say about y'all, man. It's crazy, man. Speeder, uh, Raider Speed said, Bit Rich, see my Dodgers on Saturday. Yeah, man, go have a Dodger dog and a beer for your boy, bro. Okay, Kobe with 42 points. Oh, I thought he had 40, man. Kobe White, yeah, he was balling. Okay, all right. Okay, hold on, man. Let me get rid of the, the, this, this dude, Lion Moet, man. I mean, I don't know where y'all get these names from. Let me just go ahead and let y'all, let y'all go, man. You guys got better things to do, man. Go find something else to do. Okay, Kobe on another level. Yeah, he's balling, dog. I gotta admit. Okay, Yusuf Long. I mean, uh, yeah, Yusuf uh, Arlene in the house. Well, I mean, you know, too many clowns play that Madden because they think Madden. They think they know football. Oh yeah, Madden. Madden has ruined everything. The casual fan has ruined uh, professional sports, bro. Two things have ruined professional sports: the casual fan and a casual fan with an internet connection, with a social media account. They they ruined everything because they know everything and they don't have to prove it. These motherfuckers come on here and say shit they never have to prove. Okay, No one's ever going to hold their feet to the fire because they don't have a real name, fake name, fake avatar, head tilted to the side, looking zesty and shit. Okay, Looking zestfully clean. <laughs> zestfully clean. You're not really clean unless you're zesty, fully clean, head to the side. Shit. Okay. Yusuf, what's up with other channels on the topics of weight? Yeah, it's going on, dog. I'm working on it. I mean, I'm a one man, one man shop out here outside of the mod, the, the mod squad on here. Okay, outside of the mod squad, uh, it's just me. Shit, I ain't, I ain't got no help. You know, I'm working, I'm working to get to the point where I can actually have some, you know, maybe have me a little sexy shooby dooby co-host for you guys out there. You know, some somebody that, that you want to see and shit. Okay, get me a little Molly Curum or somebody out here. Get me a little uh, Joy Taylor. Okay, put a little boobs together, shit. Let y'all be fucking watch the show just so you can look at her. Don't think I won't. Okay, I definitely will. Okay, I get this shit like it's supposed to be. I'm gonna have me somebody come in here and 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 be the moderator and shit. Throw me the questions. Okay, and I'll have the camera face just like this. <laughs> face just like that. Okay, only lift up when you're talking to me. All right. Um. Bo Long talking to uh, Robert Munoz. Okay. Uh, Robert Munoz is a black cloud that he sits over the Raider Nation. Mark Davis helps us get better. Hey, man, um, it's it's lifting. It's lifting. Him putting somebody in charge like he's supposed to. Mark wants to be on autopilot. Mark wants to be an owner that just wants to sit there, eat, eat his popcorn with a shooby dooby, little blonde shooby doo, go to his basketball games. Mark is not a hands on owner. He doesn't. He's not a he's not one of these, man. He's he's not gonna put his hands on it. But he 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 brings people, he he people know how to say the right thing. He's gonna look at your resume. He's a guy that's gonna look, he's a businessman. He's not a football guy. He's gonna look at a resume and he's gonna say, oh, this guy got this experience, that experience. Oh, he went to this college, oh blah, blah, blah. Oh, this, oh that, oh this, oh that, this pedigree, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he'll fit. No, he won't. No, he won't, dog. You have to have the shield has to fuck with you. Okay, trust me though. The reason why so many people get kicked out of here when we're talking Raider football, I have to kick out so many people is because no one's ever kicked them out before. No one's ever told them they're not up to par. Nobody, nobody's never told them that the shield ain't choosing you. You're you're fugazi. You're fugazi. Okay, 
get the fuck up out of here. They've never been they've never been corrected. They've been able to walk among us like everybody else. Okay, until they got over here. Okay, it's true serum over here. Okay, got you. Okay, the Davis name they don't like. Nah, I ain't fucking with the Davises. And he goes, did you see the Dodgers get shut it down? Made my day because I love my angels. Hey man, I didn't see it, man. I'm just watching ESPN now. I saw my I saw my Yankees come back though. Okay. Okay. Uh Bev says, you said Clark looked kind of cute. Hell no, nah, not cute at all. Ever, ever. She looked pretty cute tonight. Like, she looked pretty cute tonight. Yeah, you know, I didn't say she was fine. I said she looked good. For for her, she looked pretty good tonight. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark looked cute. Like if, if 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 you didn't know that she was Caitlin Clark and you never seen her any other way, she looked cute for herself. She looked cute for herself. You know, like, I, I, I'm like, okay, she looked cool. She got a nice little nice little shape too. She's cool. She cool. She all right. Okay. She ain't she ain't going she ain't going she ain't passing she ain't passing the uh uh pa the uh passenger side princess taste test. She ain't in the whip with a nigga, but I'm like, you know, for her, you ain't seen her made up and you see somebody. I mean, come on, man. Come on, Bev. She look, she look cool right there. She got her eyebrows did. She got a little money now. You know, I mean, she looked all right. That little, little, little dress on. Like, you know, she look cool. She looked all right. She looked cute. Cute ain't, cute ain't beautiful. Okay. Yeah, she did. I had to give it to her. I'm like, okay, Caitlin, go, go. she look all right. Got her, got her little stylist now. It's on popping. She look okay. Man, come on, babe. Can't hate on her, man, for trying to make herself look better, man. She's doing what she should be doing. Okay? Women, women should always look their best. She that's the best I've ever seen her look. I ain't gonna give her no credit. I ain't gonna give her no props for that. Come on, babe. You know me. You know, you know I'm friends with all women, babe. You know, you know that's how I did it. Cause I because if I when I was single and I would have saw her looking like that, I was like, you know what? She ain't for me, but I know she got a fine ass friend that is. Hey, Caitlin, you go ahead, girl. You're looking nice. Come on, Bev. That's just falling in my wheelhouse right there. Okay? You already know that. I have big Shirley as my home girl. Okay. Trust and believe that. Okay. Brian Munio said, hopefully us uh, the Swift sucks the football life out of Kelsey helps him retire. Kelsey gonna be gone soon. I'm willing to say that he's probably going to play two more years. He's going to be out. Okay. Great kind of chef. Yeah. Popping bottles with models. You already know. You said, hey, Jesse and Jesse Mug, classic. It's like Mark Davis and the Raiders are on parole. Yeah, I can't. I can't even go that far with it. Okay. But I don't know if you, I don't think you're a fan, Tony, because you, you, you seem to be saying stuff just to try to get a rise out of people. Okay. Uh, Rob Munoz, man, these Similax don't know the struggle. The struggle was real for us back in the days. It's like if you got it out the mud and then you have kids and your kids don't have to get it out the mud, they don't appreciate it. They don't appreciate it because they didn't have to struggle, bro. You have to give them, you have to give them struggles within, within the blessings. They have to be struggles within the blessings. Okay. They may not know how it feels that they have to go and do the things that you did, but to try to make your kid go through those so that so you can say, I went through it, they need to go through it too, that ain't right. But you do need to teach them. To say, hey man, this shit isn't just gonna come to you. Okay, take shit away from them. Just do what my son like, dude. I'll take this shit from your ass. You won't see it again. Okay. Yes, yes, yours. Yeah, you didn't have to go and earn the money to buy it and all of that. He's only three, and I'm already showing him that. But daddy will take this shit from you. You won't see it the rest of the day. And he'd be crying and mad all day. And then when he tomorrow morning, I'll give it back. It's like, okay. It's gonna get to the point where you're not gonna get it back, period. So they don't, they're not going to respect what we've been through. But then again, they don't get to walk around with no hardware, do they? They walk, they walking around ringless. We're not. Ray Love that Diddy was asked about him and Mika. We smiled and said, oh, I can't tell you about that. Like I said, well, that's a fucked up ass friend to have, Ray Love. That's a fucked up ass friend to have. Okay. Ne never, never was the homie. Never was the motherfucking homie. If your, if your ass won't even say something didn't happen, bro. Like I said, dog. Like I said, man. That 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 that's fucked up. Okay. Uh, Robert Munoz laughing. Dr. Ken and Mark Davis solved the problem by getting us back to where we belong. Yes, he can. He's already doing it. Yes, he's already doing it, dude. What is your what 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 all y'all that got jobs? What does your boss want more than anything? A 
good employee in his eyes or what he thinks a good employee is. Okay? That's what he wants. He wants an employee that's going to do what he wants to do, not bitch and complain, and he, and, and he wants it done. That's all. He doesn't care. And he doesn't want an equal. He doesn't want somebody who thinks that he's an equal. There's always be a healthy separation between your boss. Hey, all me, my boss, cool in the motherfucker. We be rolling out. Yeah, dude, but as long as your ass understand there's a separation when it's time for him to tell you to do something, you don't get to say, oh, come on, Sammy. Man. Saying, nigga, you tripping, dog, because last night, man, we was at the strip club and shit. You needed an extra 20 to get that lab dance from uh, Sapphire shit. I, I hooked you up. That ain't. That's not what he wants at work, nigga. He wants you to fucking do what he said. He said, take those pallets and take them to the back of the shop. And, and 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 get it done because we got other shit to do. Oh man, come on, man! Now you acting like you want to tell me to do some shit. He ain't trying to hear that. Just because uh, you gave him twenty dollars for a lap dance, that don't mean shit. Okay. Bo talking about Diddy. Rob Munoz is rolling. Ray Love, that boy looking like he's been chasing pork cars and catching them. Yeah, by the teeth and shit. Okay. You know damn well uh, that motherfucker's teeth look like this as shit. <laughs> That motherfucker's teeth was holding up a set, okay? That motherfucker's teeth was holding up a Crip set, uh, was holding up a damn Pyru set, was holding up a, a B-Dog set, and it was his teeth, bro. He smiles in the wrong neighborhood, he gonna get capped. Fuck out of here. Okay. Uh, Bev says, my first job in adult was reading a San Francisco County microfilm to do the statistics. Yeah, that shit is hard. That fucking microfiche is a bitch. That microfiche is a motherfucker, dog. Yeah, you, 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 can, you can read newspaper articles from all the way back, like the real articles of shit, okay? Crazy as fuck, man. Crazy as fuck. Bo says, I was three when Pac died, bringing all eyes of me in my car seat. Hey, man, shit, Bo, you a youngin', okay? Yeah, because I was 20 years old when Pac passed away. Yeah. yeah it, it, head tilted to the side. Come on, Robert Minos, man. When you were, when you were a real man... You, 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 you see stuff that ain't manly, bro. I've seen more, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with you not being manly, but don't come across and say manly type shit. When you say you're going to slap the hit, slap a hat off of somebody, that's about as manly as you get because you're talking about you're going to assault somebody, but your motherfucking head is tilted to the side of shit, okay? Head is tilted to the side like a motherfucking Barbie doll of shit. Come on, dog. You ain't going to bust a great... If anything, man, you might you you, you might you might end up uh, end up in the motherfucking uh, in the morgue fucking around with a real one. Be careful. Okay. Internet's not gonna save you. Okay. Robert, you know, since the nineties were the good old days. Okay. Bo Long telling everybody, but Bo must be must be drunk or high. He Bo tell putting everything out there. Um, Dave Salsuna says, where, where 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 do you think Marvin Harrison will go? Well, it all depends. If Arizona is doesn't give up their pick, they'll probably get him. But we're trying to get there. We're trying to get there. So I don't know. I mean, he's going to be gone within the first five, five picks. Marvin Harrison Jr. will be gone between one and five. It won't be one. It won't be two. Um, it won't be three. It'll probably be four. Whoever's in that fourth slot, Arizona will probably be there. I don't think Arizona is going to is going to um, you know fuck around unless somebody gives him a lot of shit. But uh, he'll be gone. Okay. They'll say, put your niece to work on the brand. Yes, yeah, soon enough when it happens. When I'm when I'm in that position, but, you know, baby about her coins and shit. She ain't gonna be playing with me talking about uncle, uncle, where my money at. I don't want to hear that from her dog. I don't want no problems with that one. I don't want no problems with my niece dog at all. Okay, because she'll let me she'll, she'll let me have it. Robin Yost in the house. Okay. Ray loves it. Luton Virgin to Mark Harry. He's like, Dream Lover, rescue me. <laughs> <laughs> Bola, bro, Bola was take me away. <laughs> Bola was taking him away. <laughs> I had a vision of love. <laughs> Come on, Bo. You must have been in her house, Bo. Come on, Bo, dog. That's not what you play. Shit, though, Bo. Shit. <laughs> Bo 
Oh man, come on, dog. But she hit the whistle whistle register. Woo! <laughs> whistle going off like a teapot, nigga. <laughs> Bo, come on, dog. Bo, you must be drunk or high, dog. You got me over here crying and shit. Okay. Oh, man. There's a Tilly probably used Pantene, man. That motherfucker definitely, definitely is out there. You, is He's definitely out there using some, uh, some, some feminine products to clean out his... <laughs> squash, squash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got to keep it clean. Clean as a whistle. Okay. Come on, dog. Don't come over here fucking with me, man. Fucking with me. Okay. Ah, pull up around my girl, man. Shit, she need to be. Good red, man. All right, man. Rich, get in. See that, dog. Okay. Oh, yeah, bro. Long said he hit the high note. I mean, uh, uh, Robert, Robert B. Joe said hit the high note. Okay. It's a note for me, dog, about Clark. Uh, yeah, man. I know, dog. But she look cute tonight. I didn't give it to her, dog. You know, you know. Like I said, man, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a woman's best friend. Dog. I'm gonna always try to give a woman some positive reinforcement because the shit works out for me in the end. And I'll see. I'm like, go ahead, Kay Kayla, you clean up nice, girl. She she look a lot better, dog. Okay, she did. She you know she got her some money. She looked pretty good, man. Got her a stylist. She had makeup on. Had a nice little hair was cut and nice, and she looked cool. She looked all right. All right, yeah, dog. Okay. Okay. Pull up, pull up, gonna sneak out the window. Shit. <laughs> With the, why did you leave the Mariah CD, bro? He's like, nah, I need this dog. Shit. Okay. All right, funny as fuck. Okay. I gotta go get my CD. I needs my CD and shit. Bo Long in there bumping Mariah Carey's greatest hits. In there bumping that shit. Okay. Funny as fuck. Okay. This most as I think Kate looks good, period. A lot of dudes do. A lot of dudes do, man. A lot of dudes do. If I, I was, you know, you'd be surprised, man. You clean them up. She might look better in person, too. Like, you know, she wasn't what wasn't one of my cup of tea, man. But she, I just saw her on the thing and she looked nice. She got a boyfriend, so it ain't like nobody, like, you know, somebody fucking with her. Okay? She looked all right right there, dog. Funny as fuck. Okay. Yeah, Bo, you something else, man. Okay. Bo, you Bo was out there. Bo was out there uh, ruining ruining uh, families and shit. Rabinio's bad. Yeah, you already know. Crip Pyrus, you already know. His teeth was thrown up gang size and shit. Like, man, these motherfuckers don't understand who they talking to. They just think they see some nigga on here talking. They don't understand, dog. They don't get it. I grew up in this culture, bro. The culture of being able to snap on somebody. Uh, and letting them know what it is, dog. Snapping on them to the point where you're going to want to fight. All right? Yeah. Teddy Webb, Shaq, the Washington Nationals are one of those teams I don't understand. They beat high competition, but they use low teams. They have a good team. Lane, I'm going to carry that team. Yeah, the Washington Nationals, man, you know, they're a team that basically is, they're a throwback team, man, because they used to be the Washington Senators back in the days, and they, you know, they're, they have to do something on their own, dog. They have to do something on their own, okay. And I don't, I don't foresee that happening. There's not, that's not a, a team that really um, people want to go play for. Matt the kid, no Mark Davis, listen to those fans and plays of high Antonio Pierce, the host did and chant his name. I saw that, but then he went right back around and didn't hire Champ Kelly and hire Tom Telesco, which shows me that he's not a hundred percent where he needs to be. Okay, Robert Munoz and else. Okay, and the ticket ticket prices talking about Caitlin Clark. Seven two thousand, and she, you know, they're not making a lot of money, but Caitlin Clark is making a lot of money endorsements, and she was uh, one of the high NIL earners. She's already a multimillionaire, so her being an WNBA, she's gonna make her money off of sponsorships. She's gonna make her money off of being in more commercials. She's in a State Farm, State Farm commercial with Jake from State Farm. He was actually at the dra at the draft. That was the first time I ever watched the a WNBA draft in my entire life. They said 2.4 million people watched it. It was a record. Like, Caitlin Clark is going to change the game. I'm going to definitely go and go check her and check Angel Reese out. Okay? I'm going to check both of them out. I'm going to check uh, here in L.A. I was hoping that they would have drafted Angel Reese. Then I would be going more. But they didn't. So when Chicago comes and when the fever comes, I'm going to check them out. I just want to see it uh, in real life. 
Well, I'm open book. Everybody wants to be savage till it's time to do savage things. Oh shit! Come on, bro. It's the same thing, man. It's like we say. Everybody want to be a nigga. Everybody want to be a nigga, but they don't want to be a nigga. Okay. They they want to be one, but they don't want to be one. Okay. A lot of people tell me, Shaq, man, I want a channel like you. Oh man, duh. Nah, motherfucker, you want a channel like me. Like you jump from where you are to me now. You don't want to go through the whole no subs. Stuck at a hundred subscribers for fucking ever. Getting up to a thousand, not having enough hours to get monetized, get monetized and build from there. You know how many motherfucking names I've been called on here? You know how much racial shit motherfuckers have said? You know how much uh, um, um, people I've had to block and all that type of shit? I can't even keep up, bro. Okay? You got to put the work in. Okay? Motherfuckers don't do that. I'm tired. I'm on the couch. I'm comfortable, bro. You know, I had a nice burger, nice, nice beer. Uh, you know, I had my, my, my medication I took for my back. Man, shit. I, I'm motherfucking looking nice and shit. I fell right on this couch. I was out cold, bro. Woke up, got on the live, dog. I don't miss days, dog. I'm on here every day talking to you motherfuckers. That takes effort. That's 365 motherfucking lives every year. Not counting the days I do multiples. You know, but you you gotta you gotta be a savage, bro. That's how you do shit, okay? So, but you know, you can't tell everybody anything, man. Robbie knows said, dream lover. You know, I was rolling, dog. Okay, what's going on, unauthorized member? Okay, uh, you said which Raider games are you going to on the West Coast, uh, East Coast? Um, <clears throat> shit, man, I might, I might go to the Ravens game. I might go to Ravens and Raiders. Take wifey. Let her go home, let her see her, go see her mama and see her father and her family and uh, probably go maybe maybe do that game. But it depends on what it is. If it's late in the year, I ain't doing it. I'm not going to be out there in MMT when it's cold, bro. I've been in that stadium. It's very nice. Zion Williamson is ruled out. Oh, shit. Zion Williamson is out for the game on Friday. Fuck, Zion. You must be really fucked up, bro. He scored 40 against us. He was cooking us, bro. That was baby Barkley, but he's fucked, man. Damn. Well, oh well. Okay. Thoughts on Puff? Hey, man. The diddler, bro. Okay. Motherfucker walking around Miami looking like he ain't tripping. Maybe he knows something we don't know. Okay. Just saying. All right, I'm just saying. The diddler. Okay. All right, Barbie. You said teapot. You're the teapot in there and shit. Okay. Yeah, both roller. Yep. Okay. Robert Munoz lived the same and lived in the air when your mama jokes were popping. If a dude didn't like what you said, we're going to dance it, but this buster moved in. Yeah, dog. Everything's funny until you get too funny. Tell you, dog. Tell you, dog. Motherfuckers was. Trying to come at me, dog, say something crazy. You start talking about mama's dog, it's all bets is off. Like I don't love my mama. Shit. Motherfucker, you crazy as fuck. Okay? And everybody knows you got the ugliest mama, bro. It's always the nigga whose mama was the ugliest motherfucking mama in the hood talking about somebody else's mama. Okay? Like, what? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say what everybody's been saying, but not to your fucking face. I'm going to say everything, bro, which makes it funnier. Man, you see that nigga mama, man? Every time she talk, man, there's always some white shit in the corner of her mouth. Nobody knows that shit but him. Oh, I'm going to use that one. Fuck that. Oh, we, oh, it's jugular time. Oh, what, nigga? Oh, you trying to be funny? What you need to do is try to figure out why your mom has a whole motherfucking uh, fucking potato salad Fucking uh, a factory on the side of her mouth for shit. Motherfucker fell out. Said your mom looked like she'd been chewing on motherfucking pizza dough. Shit. Like, you know, these motherfuckers, niggas was f falling out. Screaming in traffic, bro. Almost getting hit. I was fucking clowning this nigga so bad. This motherfucker fucking want to fight. Okay, fuck it. Okay. That's what it is, dog. Watch your motherfucking mouth. Okay, I'm definitely gonna talk shit. All right, but long um, rooting for your, your your Lakers. Dr. Van gonna be a suicide watch for Yummy Gums. Yeah, he think he got it in the bag. 
Bev said, what's your take on the Raptors? John Tay Porter. You know who John Tay Porter's, Porter's brother is? Michael Porter Jr. from the damn, um, from, from, from uh, Dr. Van's team. That's his brother. Okay? This isn't new. This shit isn't new. It's new to y'all. This gambling shit, motherfuckers have been kicked out the league before for other shit too. A guy named Roy Tarpley. Roy Tarpley was a bad motherfucker. Played for the, the Dallas, Dallas Mavericks. Kicked out the league for some drugs and some other shit. Okay? A guy named Michael Ray Richardson that played for the Knicks back in the days. Same shit. Some drugs and some other shit. This gambling shit, man, a dude's stupid. That's because he's not his brother. It's not his brother. Michael, Michael, Michael Porter Jr., he's going to be sitting shooting threes on us. But shit. I mean, that's what the fuck you get for thinking you smarter than motherfuckers. Same shit I thought about the Otani shit. Okay? Okay? Same shit. Motherfuckers, just, you guys all to trying to trying to do something strange for some change is gonna come out. So you, this is the this is the year of, of exposure. We're exposing everything. Cat Williams exposing motherfuckers. All the secrets. There ain't no more secrets, bro. Ain't no more hiding behind uh, some money. Ain't working no more, dog. No more, dog. NDAs, fucking working with three bookies to make a bet. That shit ain't working. Okay. Bo Long in the house. Say, um, best show on YouTube. You ain't never lying. You just say, come to Tampa or Miami. I lived in Tampa for, 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 for two days, bro. I lived in Tampa and I moved from... The Bay to Tampa, I was, I was going to be living in Tampa, man. Um, I was with a cat that I went to college with. We was going to start a record company. I stayed at this motherfucker's house for two days. I had to go to my cousin's wedding in Orlando. My, um, uh, I met my parents there because my parents were you know, li uh, living in uh, the, uh, Panama City Beach. And my mom said, come on, for, come, come on for a couple of days. Man, I didn't go back. Tampa was cool, but... The guys that I was did, I couldn't stay with them, though. It wasn't going to work. Okay. So it wasn't going to work out. So, and then Miami's Miami, dog. Love Miami, man. South Beach, Collins and Washington. It's off the chain down there, bro. Okay. All right. Bev, hit that like button. Subscribe. Share the membership. Shock in with the membership. Stop playing. Follow me on uh, Twitter. Follow me uh, at Shaxa21 IG. Um, tip on Cash App, dollar sign Shaxa21. You guys could definitely use that Cash App. Bolong, you got that damn tax return yet, Bolong? You're supposed to be hooking your boy up. Okay. So, yeah, you got suspended for busting his client in the mouth for talking about my mama. Hey, man, you say something about somebody's mama, all bets is off, dog. It's all bets is off, man. You can't do that. You can't do that, dog. Motherfuckers is thinking that shit is funny. You have to let them know. It is what it is, dog. Okay. It was what it is. I didn't get suspended, bro, but. He got, he got humiliated, okay? One of the toughest dudes in school, man, but you you get that motherfucking strength through somebody talking about your mama and shit. It's like, motherfucker, I just, I just went off. And plus, everybody had just seen his ugly-ass mama drop, drop, getting dropped off and shit, dropping him off. It was easy, bro. It's like, oh, that's what you're trying to say? Oh, we all know my mama look way better than your mama. Your mama's definitely the ugliest mama in the hood. Say, so, you know, and I was just like, all oh, y'all know it's true. And everybody was laughing. Nobody wanted to say nothing. I said, ask any of these motherfuckers and look them in the face. They'll tell you. They'll, they'll say that that ain't true. I'm lying. But you can look at their face and know they've been talking about your mama, too. Everybody think your mama ugly as fuck. Like, fuck you talking about. Okay. Nigga didn't like that shit. Do you listen to Kwame Brown? Um, Not lately. Not lately. Kwame's, Kwame's cool. Kwame actually uh, responded to one of my videos. Um, the biggest video I ever did on this channel was talking about Stephen A. Smith versus him and Stephen A. Smith. Um, 60,000 views. And he actually has he actually came on my post and, 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 and said something on it. It's still up. Um, but Kwame, Kwame's saying what he needs to say. Kwame, Kwame making it clear. You know, there's a lot of stuff that y'all don't know about behind the scenes. It's a celebrity blinds a lot of people. Uh, he's a real one. He's a he's a real one. Kwame's real. Um, Bev representing the store. Get the merch. I mean, yours, man. Oh, your boy, uh, mama comes and pick him up wearing the most fucked up clothes, shoe button, nightgown, button up. And, yeah, dog. I mean, come on, dog. And had a fucked up ass voice and shit. She just ugly, dog. I'm sorry, man. Sorry to say, you know. 
Never said nothing, man. But you want to talk about somebody, mama ugly, my motherfucker, my mama definitely ain't ugly. And but we know your mama is. That's a consensus. Okay. All right. Mama look like she been eating Miracle Whip. Mama look like mama. Trust me, dog. Always had some white shit. You you you, you know uh Boosie, the rapper Boosie. Boosie always has some white shit, some white froth right here on both sides of his mouth, bro. Every time, every time, she look like him, dog, with, with, with the froth right here, bro. There's no reason to have shit congregating right here in the corners of your mouth, dog. Like, this, this, that's a problem, though. God. Ted DeGuerre, Angel Reese looking like a gourmet meal on draft day. Angel Reese is very beautiful. Okay, hold on. You remember your mom used to sit on the rainbow skimmels pop out? We come all kinds of mama jokes, but you would be ready to fight, dog. Okay, yeah, it's fat fun. Yeah, that's right. All them jokes. Tony Blasted, man. Glad you found your channel. We definitely bringing it. Dog, we've been doing this for years, bro. I've been doing this for a couple of years. This channel should definitely be bigger, but you know what? It's an acquired taste, man. It ain't for everybody, bro. Okay, you got to have a certain type of palate to be over here because people ain't coming like we coming over here. All right? We got our own merch. We got our own lingo. We got our own names for our members. We got all that shit, dog. Okay? Definitely. Okay? Um, sub the channel, homie. Yeah, funny as fuck. He said, I've been to Saturday. I got fucking expelled. Yeah. He said, Cole or Kendrick? Kendrick. That's easy. Okay? Somebody apologized and somebody didn't. Raider Spade. My homies back in the day said I had a crush on my mama. He says, hey, man, you got to be great. Be careful with that, man. Okay, somebody's always saying the quiet part out loud. Yeah, man. Uh, Babs talking to Tedrick Webb. Okay. Yeah, she, yeah, Angel's beautiful. Uh, yeah, you already know, say White shadow on the side of the mouth. Yeah, dog. In the corner, dog, just sitting there. Like right here. That shit's just like here, dog. Like like somebody just, somebody just you know what I'm saying? Like somebody just, 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 just put some motherfucking, uh, uh, so some 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 damn uh, ranch dressing that's just sticking here and it's just moving like this. When you talk, that shit's <laughs> motherfucking vibrating and shit. Man, I was clowning, dog. Clowning this nigga, dog. That motherfucker was so mad, he got beat up the first day and he came back the next day and got clipped on again. Okay, Snooty Fox, good vibe from Long Beach, man. The beach out there, man. Okay, salute, man, to the to the East Siders out there in Long Beach. Okay. Uh, we just talking some shit about Devontae Adams, homie. Out there, talking about their man, the Blue Bucks. Okay. Boosie always eating this shit. I love Boosie, man. I love Boosie, but let's just understand Boosie definitely has some white shit in the corner of his mouth all the time, dog. They talking about Jonte Porter now for gambling violations, man. This nigga was, motherfucker was uh, betting on his own health and betting on his own gains and shit. Like I said, man, you can't outsmart motherfuckers. If you think you're too smart, you're going to find that you're not. All right. That's right. You already know Snooty Fox. I already know what it is, man. I already know what it is out there. Okay? Trust me. Yeah, out there in Atlantic, Atlantic Boulevard of shit. I already know. What's up with them Cowboys, though? I don't know, dog. I mean, shit, I haven't heard a lot. I heard that Jerry Jones is, um, he's pretty much trying to save his money so he can uh, not lose any of his age, free agents. So he's not really going hard right now. But uh, your boy Dakota, your boy Dakota going to have to figure out what he going to do. Uh, Dakota going to have to start winning, bro. Dakota can't continuously not win and, and not do shit, dog. God. Uh, Bolan said, you go to school in the Bay Area? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm from the Bay Area. I'm from Yay Area, motherfucker, dog. Hell yeah. Okay. Shit, don't get this fucking L.A. shit fool you. I'm still Bay to the, bay to the soil. I'm loyal to the soil still. So do I like hockey? Yeah, I'm, uh, I am a San Jose Sharks fan, dog. Okay. You already know what it is. We them boys. So we them boys. Robin Unios, man. Good night. All right, big dog. Get some sleep. We'll be back to hit free agency next year. Watch it. We're going to find out, dog. Okay. Um, Says short down there this weekend. Yeah, short got a pass down there, dog. It's all blue in Long Beach. Now, I mean, there's no red in Long Beach. It's all blue. Uh, trust me. I know. It's all blue down there. Okay. Short, short, short going to be down there. He's going to be chilling. Yeah. All right, man. I guess that's pretty much it with you guys, man. And all you new cats, man. People like Snooty Fox, man. Please sub the channel. You know, all you other cats that 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 discovered us, man. So, you know, sub the channel, man. We're getting closer to the eight grand. It's like, you know, I'm from Anaheim, but I live in AZ. Want to move back to Cali, but everything's so pricey. That's the problem, dog. But look at it this way, man. You got a quality of life, bro. Quality, quality of life. 
You know, you should you should already be paid regardless. You know, people talking about, oh man, California's too expensive. Yeah, man, shit, look what you get. You, what are you paying for out here? You paying for the weather? You paying for the ambiance? You paying for the fucking everything? Everything costs out here, dog. Okay, but this what it is. All right, sub, man, I appreciate you, big dog, man. Yeah, he said, bam, Come on, Beth. I'm always bay with mine. Okay, all right, Snooty Fox, salute, Ray, love, subscribe, appreciate you guys. Hit the hit the uh, the notification bell so you know when you're notified and all of that shit, Beth. Follow me at Shaxa21. Okay, so if I stay away from the Figure Roll girls, hey, I'm only part of Fig. I'm on Fig. I go down Fig, but I'll tell you how far down I go. I don't go no further than Washington and Figueroa. That's the furthest I go down. I don't go down. I take Broadway when I'm going down, dog. I don't take Fig. No, that ain't even true. Because I'll go past USC on Fig. I won't go past. Let's see. What's the furthest I'll go down Fig? I won't go past Martin Luther King and Figueroa. I won't go down that far, bro. Okay. If I'm going down Fig. I'm going to eventually turn and I'm going to get on that. I'm going to get on that 110. I'm not going that way. Okay, trust and believe down there where, the, where, where all the action is at. I'm not fucking around I'm, with them damn hard legs down there, dog. Them bras might them bras get in your car at the damn. Uh, but we, your car's unlocked. Them bras will get in your car. You start going down there. Snooty Fox know I'm telling the truth. Say, mom eat too much of that coleslaw. She eating too much of that nut slaw. <laughs> You know what it is, man. Okay. All right, man. Let me highlight y'all, man. Snooty Fox in the house, dog. You know I'm real ones. Food Snooty Fox. Been down here in LA over 15 years, dog. I know we're not to go. All right, I'll highlight y'all, man. Match check and filtered.